What's up guys, Nick here from Era 12 Gaming and this is a new series. Uh, this is Will It Drift? Uh, the, the idea of the series is taking cars that you wouldn't normally uh, think would go sideways and I put them sideways, or at least try to, uh, and we'll see what happens. So as this is the first episode of this series, uh, it'd be really awesome if you could thumbs up uh, as you do, and um, yeah. So, the first car of, Il of Will It Drift is the Ford, is the Ford Raptor, the huge SVT, uh, it's, a, it's basically uh, an F-150 with a ma do the stock ones have a V8? I'm not sure, but this has a V8, uh, a huge V8, 6.2 liters, I believe, uh, it's an absolute animal, uh, basically, I I'm pretty sure it was designed for racing, or something like that, and anyways, it's a beast car, and I thought, why can't it go sideways? Uh, I'm gonna try and put it sideways, make it go sideways. So, the first thing is getting this crap off, uh, make it rear wheel drive, make it, oh, so good. Um, so, before I go to that, uh, yeah, you'll notice the 6.2 liter engine, uh, it's a V8. I can go up to this one, which is also a V8, but it's a 5.4 liter. Now, I don't know why they have the 5.4 liter as red. I, I just assume it's lighter. I think it's like 50 pounds lighter. Yeah, it's something like 50 pounds lighter. Uh, but I'm not going to choose that one because I like, uh, the torque that comes out of the first one or the stock engine. So I'm going to keep that. Uh, I'm going to throw the twin turbos on because who doesn't love a good twin turbo? Uh, as for body kits, this car does have some pretty cool body kits. Uh, some fancy lights and stuff that makes it look ready for the jungle. Probably. Uh, that looks ridiculous. I, I believe that's actually meant for drifting. Um, nah, I think we'll just go with that. Open top, looks pretty cool. It also saves us six pounds, four pounds, something like that. All right, so for tires, uh, you might notice the ridiculously small rims, mags, whatever you want to call them. Uh, let's get on the street tires, front width and rear width. Let's go for that. And we need to get those rims off so we can at least put some bigger ones on because those things were absolutely tiny. All right, so let's see these. I want something a bit meatier. Meatier, if that's a word. Don't even know. Let's just go for those. Those look fairly simple. <laughs> it's actually sitting on 17 inch rims. Let's go all the way up to... Let's go to 22. That looks fairly normal. Actually, it doesn't. It looks absolutely ridiculous, but we'll do it anyways. Because uh, who doesn't love... Whoops, wrong button. Um, who doesn't love massive wheels? Alright, head back into the upgrade shop after you've exited, obviously. Uh, throw all the transmission and what have you on as with the handling and performance, or is it performance and handling? Yeah. Throw all that on, roll cage and weight reduction. How much is this going to remove? Like a thousand pounds, probably. I don't know, we'll see. A thousand four hundred pounds, oh my god. Oh well, that actually fits, fixes our uh, our weight distribution as well, which is rather nice. All right, so into the meat of this, which is the engine. Uh, we'll throw on the race flywheel, get our extra whatever weight we get off that. Uh, we'll throw that on as well. Since this is such a big, heavy car, I'm gonna want in the range of 600, 630 to 670 horsepower, I'm gonna say. So that's gonna be my goal. Stupid freaking thing, get out of the way. Um, Let's throw the race turbos on. We're sitting at 500. Let's get the exhaust on. Five, five, 550. Can't speak today. Uh, let's get these on. Wow, we brought it all the way up to a, a 6.5 liter engine. Let's throw these on. And I, 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 I want that extra power. I, I think we really are going to need that extra power. Uh, I want to stay away from those camshafts. We'll just throw that on. And that's where we're going to leave it. 650 horsepower, 649 was it? 648, something like that. And um, yeah, that was fairly simple. Let's get a basic tune on here. No, basic tune on here. Um, let's go 28 and 26, what we usually run. Uh, I don't know what you'd call this, your stock tune, pretty much. Just put it on every single car and then fine tune from there. At least that's what I do when I drift these cars. 
uh, or just running completely bare stock and oh my god it's 17 inches above the ground it's ridiculous but i do love it it's such a cool car if you've ever seen one of these in real life they're freaking massive cars so there's that i'm gonna just paint the re wheels real quick real quick and i'll meet you on the track so drifting a huge pickup truck like this i mean how hard can it be <laughs> Talk to your reference. Um, let's just try and get this thing sideways. We're on Sunset. Uh, we're just going to run the uh, Formula Drift line. Now, yeah, look at that. That. We could even use some more power, I would say. Still a little bit sluggish, if you ask me. That was the problem I wanted to avoid. So we may have to throw those camshafts on. Um, just to help out a little bit more. I just want those wheels spinning constantly on this thing. It's stable, but it's nothing too exciting, I'd say. I'm going to throw the camshafts on and uh, and we'll be back. So drifting one of these is going to be a little bit harder than I thought. Uh, but I threw on the race camshafts. I, I believe... I, I, meant to, I meant to say camshafts before. Uh, but that brought it up to 760 horsepower, which is insane. Uh, now, we're still having that problem where it's a little bit sluggish. Um... I feel like that's with the gears. So we'll fix the gears after. Wow, it can only, it can only rev to 600 RPM, or 6,000, I should say. Uh, but uh, it's a big, heavy car. It's not supposed to drift. So I'd say it's doing fairly well. Let's fix those gears, firstly, because that's going to be very annoying. All right. So... Fix the gears. We need them much shorter than that. We really don't need to be going 200 in this thing. Um, I just want to fix those gears first. Those those gears were annoying. Very, very annoying. Thank you. Apply the setup. All right. Yeah, but it's a big, heavy car. It's not supposed to drift. And I'd say on its first run, it did fairly well. That's me being a shitty driver. Um, forgetting this because that, that this is a huge heavy car and um, a braking point changes for that so or entry point whatever yeah drifting one of these is harder than you'd think um, I, I'm sure I can get this thing sideways I am a hundred percent sure I can get this thing sideways there's no reason why I shouldn't its front engine rear drive has 700 horsepower there is zero excuse not to be able to get this thing sideways. Uh, make those gears even shorter. Let's go up to 4.7. And then for that uh, camber, we're going to need to go all the way with this thing. Um, pretty much get this thing as far sideways as possible. Almost drift missile it um, with our setup there. Some of you guys might know what that is. Um, but... This thing just needs to be slippery. And right now, it's sort of slippery, but it just lacks that pull. Well, obviously, this thing can pull, but like if we're sitting at the bottom of third gear, we're not going anywhere. There's no way we're going anywhere. When we're getting, when we get up to the higher RPM, it does work. And works fairly well but anything below 3,000 I'd say doesn't like to work um, so hmm I don't really know what the problem is let's go let's go five all the way up at five that's crazy um, so Give it another shot. Th this thing should be able to go sideways. Like I said, there's no reason why this thing shouldn't be able to go sideways. All right, nearly rolled it. Get apex, thank you for that. But this thing definitely doesn't like to work in those lower RPMs. It just lacks that pull that you'd, you'd expect. I'm gonna restart. God damn it. So, does this car really drift? 
Not really. Um, I, I'm, I'm not happy with it where it is right now. I would say no, not really. Of course, as I'm saying, no, it can't really drift. It can drift for once, but um, is it consistent? No. Uh, can I drift it? Not really. Uh, but I'm sure some of you guys can drift it. Uh, if you guys put a little bit of time into the tune, I am positive uh, that you guys can get this thing sideways. It is a big, heavy pickup truck, but um, yeah, I'm I'm positive you can get this thing sideways. Definitely sure you can get this thing sideways if uh, if you put that four wheel drive back on. You put play around with, play around in the uh, in the snow. Definitely have a lot of fun with that in real life. Uh, but uh, yeah, for me, no, it was not able to drift. But uh, I'm sure uh, with a little bit more time, it could drift a lot better. Uh, so that is that, guys. Thank you very very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up if you haven't already for the new series and uh, share it with some of your friends. Uh, share it on Facebook, Twitter, whatever you do. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. Anyways, guys, that is it for me. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.